YouTube has a lot of options for customizing your YouTube channel. And in this video, I wanted to show you the most useful ones that actually result in getting more views and getting more subscribers by customizing your YouTube channel the right way. And you have to do this on youtube.com on a desktop. The customization options are very limited if you do this with the mobile app. But on your desktop, just click your profile icon as long as you're logged in to your YouTube channel and press my channel, which should bring you to this page. And then you could customize your channel from this tab right here. And I'll show you the customization options. And I'll show you some options that you could download that could make your YouTube channel just a whole lot better. So for example, I've added this thing called TubeBuddy. So if you look under this section called Channelytics, this shows how many views I've got, for example, for the last 30 days on this channel. It shows my lifetime view, but it also compares this to other channel that I visit. It's a really good way to see how I'm doing against the competition. I'll put a link to TubeBuddy below. They also have other options like Keyword Explorer. So you get this new tab over here where you could explore keywords and then figure out what type of videos to make. And I have a ton of videos on YouTube growth on this channel. But right now, let's go ahead and press Customize Channel. And let me show you the three different main options you have. So you have channel layout where you could customize your channel layout. You could change your channel branding. I'll show you that as well. And then you have basic info, which is very useful, especially when you start working with other brands with your YouTube channel or through your business. So for channel layouts, here's some options you have. So on top right here, you have something called video spotlight. You could have something called a channel trailer. So this is the video that's going to be on your homepage for people that haven't subscribed yet. And featured video is the video for returning subscribers. Okay, so you wanna put your best video and the video that represents your channel the most as this option right here. So I cover a lot of YouTube and TikTok type of tutorials, content creation. So I put that as my main video over here. And if you go to my channel tab, you could see the video is going to be the very first thing people see when they go to the home page of my YouTube channel. So make sure you have something like this here, or you can make a very specific type of trailer that is designed just for that part of the page. Then underneath you have featured section and here you could do lots of different things. You could have individual videos showing, you could have entire playlists showing, you could have your YouTube short showing. And I also have other YouTube channels so I could have future channels and all these can be moved up and down. So let me show you on my channel what that looks like so you get a good idea. So if you have playlists, for example, I wanna be known most for my recent YouTube tutorial. So I put that as the first playlist so people could watch all these videos or press play all. Then TikTok tutorials are next, Instagram tutorials, and then my popular uploads. So the videos that have multiple million views, I have those showing up over here. And then your recent uploads is another option that you could have. So the ones I've made recently show up like this, the future channels and any short video I've made. So if you go back over here, the way you add these is you just press add section. And again, all the options like the single playlist you saw for YouTube videos, I added my videos to a playlist. So when I select this option, it's going to show me all the different playlists I have on my channel. So again, screen recording tutorials, for example, I could go ahead and add it. And I have lots of different playlists for different topics I cover. You could also do your most popular, which a lot of people do most popular. So that will be popular uploads option. Recent will be uploads, just uploads. Then what you could do is you could actually move these up and down. So whatever you want to be known for as the very first type of videos that you make, move that to the top or just put your most popular, which I have this one. I would go ahead and grab that and put it to the top. Now, I already like the order on high habit, but once you do make a change, make sure you press publish or it's not going to remember that change. So add again up to 12 sections over here. You can see I have multiple different sections here to make your channel very easily accessible. This gets you a lot of views because when people come to your channel, maybe they watch this video, but what maybe on the from the homepage right here, they could see what you want them to see instead of going to the video tab and just seeing all your videos. Now let's look at the branding section here. So branding lets you add a logo for your YouTube channel. It lets you add a banner image and it lets you add a video watermark. Okay, so if I go over here, basically the video watermark is gonna show up in the corner of the videos so people can easily subscribe. 
Your logo, again, your channel profile logo will show up over here. And this is the channel banner where you quickly want to tell people what type of videos you make. So I make social media and tech tutorials and I post nearly every day. So I put that and the type of concepts I make as my banner. If you haven't created one before, you could go to canva.com. I have a link below as well. Look up for YouTube channel art and it's gonna give you a bunch of different templates that you could customize just for your channel. And you could use this again for free. It does have some paid upgrades too, if you wanna unlock some other things and add it to your channel here. And then again, to add those, all you have to do is either press change or upload. And then it's gonna give you access to your computer. And as long as you save the, for example, from Canva, you could go ahead and upload it from here. Canva also knows all these different things like dimensions and size. So you don't actually have to worry about that if you go that route. You could also design your profile picture too, and then you could go ahead and change it from here as well. And this watermark, let me show you where I got this watermark that says subscribe, and it starts at the five second mark of my video. Now this other platform is called Inbottle Elements. You could also get other type of channel banners. And here you could search for YouTube subscribe icon, for example, and it's gonna give you a bunch of different types of icons. Some can be added to your video. Some of these, like these graphics, could be just something you download, and then you could upload it to that section of YouTube. Now this one does require a paid upgrade. This is a monthly subscription to this platform where you could download all kinds of things like motion graphics and stock video and photos and even your music for your YouTube video. So this is great if you plan to make more YouTube videos, you could just get all your resources from here once your channel is all set up. And finally, under basic info right here, you could go ahead and change your channel name. That can happen by pressing the edit option. If you wanna change your channel name, you could do this later on as well. And you could change the description of your channel, which is basically where you could quickly tell people what you do. So if I go to my channel here, if you go to the about section, this is where that shows up. So the description shows up here as well as contact information and links. So under customization, that's what you could do underneath. You could change your channel URL to whatever you want here once you get to 100 subscribers as well. So this is useful. So then you could just share this link and not this link. And then these links right here that you see, this is where you could send people to a different website or to another social media platform that is available here and you could actually decide how many links you have on your banner. So if I go to my channel banner, you could see the different links I have set up over here. And then you could have your contact info. This is useful if you want to work with brands, for example, and then people could use this email to reach out to you and not try to find your email a different way. And as always, when you make a change, make sure you press publish here so we would actually update the front end of your channel. I also made a free training walking you through exactly how I got to 500,000 subscribers and 120 million views on this channel. And I will link that below with all the resources underneath this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.